Cat tax is being being paid early in this video, isn't it, Burb? Hi. Okay, you can you can flee. Hey everyone, it's Hannah, and welcome to day 15 of Vlogmas. Uh, I thought it was time to go through the other half of the um, yarn stash because so many of you said that you were interested to see it. Now, I don't think this video will be as long as the last one, which I went through this side. I can't remember what day it was on, but check it out if you want to check it out. Um, because obviously. While this is full, the the quantity is full, um, or the, the thing is full, I require more skeins for a jumper than I would for, this is my single skein stash, so it's not going to take as long to go through, um, so it'll be a bit of a shorter video today. And then I'm going to have a video coming next week where I talk about my plans for 2023 and um, what I want to knit with all of this. Whether or not I'll get it all done is a whole different matter, um, but it, you know... We can but try. I made that tea before I did my makeup, so it is now cold. Because even though this is quite easy makeup, apparently it took me a really long time to do still. <laughs> anyway, shall we start with advent time? Advent time. Because um, I brought my advent calendars up here so I could do advent time with you. I have three advent calendars that I open here today. I have a Chromatic Yarns advent calendar, that is my own hand dyed yarn, that is all dyed in colours inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. I have a Cast View Yarns advent calendar, which is a lovely mermaid fade through mermaidy colours. And then I also have a uh, Burn and Blend advent calendar that they were so kind to send to me and I am an affiliate with them. If you'd like any more information, links in the description box as always. So we are going to start out today with the Chromatic Yarns advent calendar. Day 15. It's really funny because Jenna's also opted for pink today. Bird and Blend didn't get the memo. Do better, Bird and Blend. Come on. Clearly it's pink day. What day is it today? Wednesday. Oh wait, no, the 15th is a Thursday. I'm filming this on a Wednesday. This colorway is called Zikran, Z Zikran, 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 I don't know how it's pronounced, but uh, that's the thing with fantasy things, I guess it doesn't matter, but I'm pretty sure he's a monster of some form, or just like a not very nice person, I can't fully remember, um, but we've got like blues and a bit of turquoise and some um, brown, do we have charcoal? I feel like I used charcoal. Yeah, there's a little bit in there, not too, too much. And yeah, I think fades very nicely from yesterday's primal fruit. Um, yes, I like that one, I like it a lot. Next up we have Castle View Yarns. <gasps> oh, oh, this is a very pretty color. This colorway is called Harmony Sunshine Splash. And one thing Jen is very good at is speckles. Um, she's the queen of speckles, so I love it. It's kind of like a denim-y grey blue, and then we've got some black speckles or some dark blue speckles. We've got a few tealy speckles in there as well. Oh, oh, Jen. Oh, you're smashing it. Smashing it. And then finally we have tea. Bird and Blend, and today's tea is, oh, Morning Kick. Very nice, energizing lemon and ginger zing. Yerba mate, everybody. Anyone else sing that? No. Uh, lemongrass, lemon verbena, ginger, lemon peel, and calendula, Calen calendula, calendula, calendula. You know what? It's not the strongest of smells, but probably when you steep it, it, it is. Um, Medium caffeine, so it's got a little bit, not too much, but yeah. Yerba mate, everybody. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to sing the tune of Jubilate that we used to sing in primary school. I went to a C of E school, so, um, which is a church school for those who don't know what C of E stands for. But yeah, I think this is a green tea, a form of green, form of green tea. I think Mario will very much enjoy this one. Um, Maybe I'll make it for him at some point today. He's meant to have D&D &D this evening, but it's just text me to say that it's cancelled. So we're going to go late night shopping in Nottingham before he had D&D. &D, so I might suggest that we do that anyway, because I've still got a few last minute Christmas presents to get. Maybe we'll go out for dinner. Oh, it will be delightful. So 
Let's stop blabbering. Let's get going. Bub, where are you going? You've got to make decisions. As with last time, I will likely try and de-stash as I go. If you want to go next to the radiator, you go next to the radiator. Bye, bub. I'll see you later. Right. We've got... Because I do have a bag of de-stash, and I will say, I did get these out of the bag of de-stash, because sometimes you need to look through the bag of de-stash to make sure you're making the right decision, and I think I am with this one. I got this Unravel 2019. I went with Caroline of Dundonit. And she is well, for anyone asking. She is still well. Whenever I bring her up or mention her, I get flooded with people saying, how is she? I miss her. Um, she is well. I haven't, I've, I mean, it's been a couple of months since I last spoke to her, but the last time I spoke to her, she was well. Um, I bought these skeins with her. She had green ones with the cream, and I went red with the cream. We were going to make cra matching Christmas jumpers. It was going to be amazing, and then we didn't do it. And now I'm not convinced that this is enough for me, for myself, to make a jumper. I mean, it might be. It's double knit. You've got 70% Corydale. You've got 30% Polworth. Polworth? Polworth. Uh, it's 200 grams. It's 506 metres, which makes it 253 metres per 100 grams. So maybe that would be enough, actually. Technically double knit, apparently. And um, this colourway is... Um, unnamed and just a lovely red and then this one is called Naked because it is naked uh, and it's from Skein Queen well, some people say Skein Queen but I cannot because it's Skein um, but yeah and they're so lovely and they would actually make a gorgeous jumper but I just I don't know I don't know so I'm going to de-stash it and then someone will knit something with it and then I'll say I really wish I hadn't de-stashed it and that I'd just knit it instead. But you know what, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. It's going in the de-stash bag. De-stashed. De-stashed. Um, I'll say I've got a fair few skeins in the de-stash bag that I need to actually put in the shop. Maybe that'll be my New Year's thing. Like I bought, I got all excited and bought this to make a litmus cowl. Um, even comes with the pattern. I got it ages ago from Ducky Darlings. It's beautiful. But I don't think I'm ever going to knit it. So, please dash. Anyway, that wasn't in the jumper quantities. Right, shall we start the top? Let's start the top. All of this yarn here is my chromatic yarn. No, yes, chromatic yarn, Nish Carol Yarn Club. Um, that was my 2022 yarn club. And I've just kept a skein of each. Whether or not I will forever keep a skein, I haven't kept January's. Whether or not I will keep it forever or I'll just keep the ones that I really like and then sell the rest on. But I didn't want to make that commitment in the moment because I very often need to dye a few extras anyway. But I've this this needs to be a duo. I think this might be a tonal colour in my next collection if I can ever dye yarn again. Um, which is a really lovely deep aubergine colour and I love it. Ah. Anyway, sorry. Ap apologies. Apologies. <sighs> Get back on track, Hannah. Get back on track, otherwise this video is going to be super long. We've got these skeins, which are Lamul, Lamul Garn from Rauma, Rauma. And I bought these at Edinburgh Yarn Festival in 2018, 17, 18. And I was going to knit myself a skein deer um, jumper pattern with them. But I don't... I don't think I'm going to anymore. I got all excited and I bought them and now I don't think that it's for me. Um, this is 250 metres per 50 grams, so it's four ply. And yeah, it was, I mean, relatively inexpensive for a jumper's quantity in the grand scheme of things. But I honestly don't think it's going to be made into a jumper. So we've got the dark navy blue, we've got the minty green, and then we've got the cream and it was going to be very nice had I knit it I probably would wear it but I don't know if I want to knit it therefore de-stash we're starting strong we're making commitments to the de-stash new year new year I will do a de-stash it, it needs to happen really doesn't it so next up we have this yarn I went through this recently on patreon so I'm very sorry if it is repetitive for you who are in the biscuit brew crew but I thought the people out of the Biscuit Brew Crew may also um, like to see this. So we have these skeins which are covered in mohair because they've been sat 
on mohair. This is from Pigment Apply. I bought this at Yarndale and this is Escalore the Leshy, part of her Witcher collection and I saw it and absolutely fell in love with it. Um, well, it was between this and another, another quite rich skein and yeah, rich colourways are not something that I tend to dye and I think it's something that I want to do more because these, this is beautiful, I'm so excited to knit this um, and yeah it's just a gorgeous deep purple and then it's got sort of the lighter colour flecks in it and yes, yes 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 I just want this on my body in the form of a jumper or a cardigan or something like that no just me maybe just me I've had three cups of tea already and you've seen the size of the mugs that I use this is my fourth it's quite a hearty cup of tea and it's only just midday so then we have some of my own hand dyed yarn and I don't know whether I'm going to knit this or request a sample knitter to use it but regardless I have them so this is um, chromatic yarns, it's my own hand dyed yarn, this is in the colourway Dreamweaver, these were inspired by a set of dice that I saw on Instagram and I love getting inspired by dice makers because they use such gorgeous colours and things just flow so nicely together and I just find it really inspiring and it gets the cogs turning. So um, yes, it's blue and then it's got a bit of pink and the reason I held these back because the blue ran into where the pink is a little bit so it's a bit more purple than it's meant to be it's meant to be a bit of a more vibrant pink than this but I also love them and figured if it was knit into a sample jumper like if it's slightly the wrong colour it's not the end of the world but I didn't want to put it online and then sell it and then people be like it's not the right colour because um, it's not so yes I've got four on my sturdy sock base which is 75% superwash blue face less or 25% nylon oh I never told you what this one is 75% uh, superwash merino, 25% nylon. That's what this one is. Um, and then I've also got four on my mohair base, my fluffy lace base, which is 72% super kid mohair, 28% mulberry silk. And they are both um, the same colourway of Dreamweaver. And I just, let's get my arm out of the way. I just adore how these look on mohair. Oh, oh yes. So good. So good. I love it, I love it. Next up, we have, ooh, choices. We've got these colourways, let's go this way. Over to Norway, we are seeing Selena of Through the Water of Yarn Co. Dreamy of Candy Unicorns was a colourway that she died ages ago, and I think it's out of rotation now, because um, she died it so much. <laughs> She's just like, I need a break from this colourway. It's like, you know what, valid. I get that to that point too. Oh my goodness, that did not work in my favour. And this is on her 100% superwash merino wool. It's a superwash merino base and it's 400 metres per 100 grams, making it a four ply, uh, which is a weight of yarn. Doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the ply. Welcome to the UK. Things don't make sense. Sock weight. I can't say fingering weight. It feels rude. It feels wrong. That's not what we call it here. Um, but yeah, through the wardrobe yarn coat and it's got these beautiful pastel um, pinks and blues and a bit of purple and there might be yellow in there and it's kind of gone a bit green and it's just stunning and bub you're not stuck just come out the other way I promise I won't grab you she won't she's gonna go the noisiest route possible but yes absolutely stunning so then when she was doing her like final pre-order of the things I was like well I kind of need to pre-order some mohair then don't I yeah I was just going to use um my zone of truth colorway which is an undyed yarn i was just going to use that but then this is so pretty i was like fine fine i'll succumb i'll succumb and i bought the same base on mohair and my camera's not picking up the colors um it does look quite different on mohair to on merino it's gone a bit more purple than the merino is but also think it's going to complement it really beautifully when i knit them together into something stunning so Hopefully, hopefully I have enough to knit myself a jumper, fingers crossed. I do tend to be able to get away with three skeins, in all fairness, which is, I feel quite fortunate about, because it does make a four-ply jumper be that little bit more affordable for me. Um, yeah. 
Next up we have this one. So this is yarn that I bought on my honeymoon. I mentioned in the other video that I'd bought some yarn and I bought this one as well. Um, the Canadian dyer, absolutely beautiful yarn. This is called Corrosion and I just adore this one. Let's get the focus not on my face. I just adore this one so much. It's Riverside Studio Superwash Merino Nylon Sock. It's a three ply yarn, 80-20 Superwash Merino Nylon. And then um, it's quite a chunky four ply, 420 yards per four ounces. So 113 grams is 384 meters. So I think it's like the 360 meters per 100 grams kind of four ply. So it's a bit of a chunkier and I've just said it's a three ply like I say the term four ply is to do with the thickness of the yarn it has nothing to do with the amount of plies in it I don't understand why it's a thing it's a thing I don't know why but yeah beautiful 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 it is a gorgeous gray color and then it's got all these flecks of like orangey rust colors and browns and oh so good and then I have some of these left over from the shawl that I knit for my wedding and someone said and I said how nicely these go together because they do they do go nice they complement each other well this is Rowan Kid Silk Haze except this is only 25 grams and I believe it's in the I can't believe I can't remember what the colorway is called but I'm gonna have to look it up because I'm gonna need a few more of these uh, I can look at my past orders uh, but someone said about how nice it was using like my wedding shawl colour with my honeymoon jumper. I was like, you know what, that's actually really nice. So I need to have a think about what pattern I want to knit out of this because I think it's going to be really pretty. So next up I have these three. These three skeins are from um, Giddy Yarns. I've had them a while now. Pretty sure I got them in 2020. Could be wrong. And this is her Eeyore colourway, Eeyore, fun fact. My favourite Disney character growing up, Eeyore was. Then I got a little bit older and I also quite like Tinkerbell, but um, Eeyore was my go-to fave for so long. So I saw this colourway and thought, yes, I must own it. Plus, it's very much in my colourway wheelhouse. Gorgeous silver grey colour. And, oh no! Yarn has snapped here. Has a moth got to it? Maybe at some point. I've got cedar blocks everywhere. I just cleared them all out. Hmm, that's a shame. I'll tie them back together, maybe. I've tied them back together. I'll just have to be careful when I knit with it. Maybe I need to put it in the freezer. We had moths in our old house, and this is now quite old yarn, and it definitely was in the old house, so. Oh, the worst. The worst! Thought I'd managed to keep them away from everything, but maybe not. Or maybe it's just a cat. I'm unsure. I try to keep them away from yarn as much as possible, but you know how cats are. Anyway, but it's got these gorgeous like magenta -y pink speckles and then we've got some blues in it as well. And it's just so perfect for Eeyore. I'm really excited to knit with this. I give it, yes. Okay, now I have found an injury. I am going to knit with it soon. I've tied a knot in it. So hopefully caking up won't be too much of an issue. Uh, next up we have the Fibre Fox. I have a lot of Georgie and Ben's yarn in my stash and why are you playing with the bubble wrap? Because you know you shouldn't. This colourway is called We're All Mad Here. It's this beautiful Alice in Wonderland inspired colours and it's all like teals and turquoises and a bit of like minty green and I love it so much. So uh, yeah. Excited to make a jumper out of this. I think it'll be stunning. This is 75% uh, Superwash Merino, 25% nylon, 425 meters per 100 grams. This one is the same. I think they're probably the same yarn base. A lot of dyers do use the same yarn base. Um, and yeah, it's only a limited number of suppliers. The secret is in how we dye the yarn, not in the bases and such that we use. That's why I don't mind sharing that kind of information, you know? Finally, last up is also from that wonderful time that I went to Unravel with the stunning Caroline. She let she let me raid her yarn stash. It was in exchange for some stitch markers and I told her to get back to me on what stitch markers she wanted. And as, as of yet, she hasn't done. So this crazy lady has essentially given me an obscene amount of free yarn. So I definitely owe her big time on many things in life. 
Uh, she bought this to knit herself a, what's it called? Everyone knit them at the time. Um, is it petite knit? Um, it's like, literally, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's like the basic raglan where you hold with the mohair and the together. No frills, no frills. And she wanted a mauve no frills, but this wasn't quite the right colour, so she ended up buying, I think, Full and Vine number no. 9 from Full and Vine Yarns. Um, but this is Skein Queen. Uh, two different colourways, two different bases, so I'll go through this one first. This is Violet Gin on the Slinky Twist base. 80% superwash merino, 20% silk. Madness, madness. Once again, Yana's gone up in price since um, either Caroline bought these or since I got them. Is that the same colour? Yeah, it's, it's just got a bit more blue in it. So it's a lovely lilac colour and then it's got gorgeous speckles throughout and it's really, really pretty and will be such like a drapey jumper. So that's Violet Gin. And then to go with it is their fluff base, which is vintage lilac or lilac, which is uh, on the floof base, sorry. 72% kid mohair, 28% silk, which I think is pretty standard in mohair these days. Um, and it's this beautiful dark-ish, dusky, dusky lilac color. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And yes, these will be fab together, so. Um, I'm excited to get knitting and cast on and work all the projects because I've now got heaps of projects. But yes, I think I'm going to de-stash those two um, sweater quantities. I think I'm just going to try and knit the rest of my sweater quantities. I've got so many scraps down here. This is my this is my box of scraps that I refer to whenever I need like a small amount of something for something or like if I need to knit a frog a jumper. For example, I think I need to knit more of these frogs. I think it needs to happen. And things like that, or heels, toes, cuffs. I, When I finish something, they just get thrown in there and then they can be used in something, maybe one day, and then I periodically, I go through them and wind off um, mini skeins to sell mini skein bundles, which I probably need to do at some point soon, truth be told. But that, those are my sweater quantities, um, yes. I'm now going to be putting these putting these back, uh, but thank you so so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Sorry it wasn't as long as the other one, um, and I'm sorry that I got distracted by the cat part way through because she was being a little cheeky monkey. I'm so excited to cast these on next week. There is going to be I'm actually about to film it now, but I'm just going to put some lipstick on and pretend it's a different day. Um, <laughs> next week there is going to be a video talking about what I am going to be knitting with all of these things. And yes, I'm really, really excited. I have a whole list written out on projects that I would like to knit next year. And I'm hoping that if I write them out, maybe it will inspire me to like actually knit them, actually work on them, actually do the thing. But who knows? Anyway, uh, how is your, do you have a separate stash for sweater quantities versus non-sweater quantities? This is a tape measure back here, if you're wondering. I think it was up there and it fell through. Um, yes, let me know, leave me a comment down below, what did you get up to today? The daily check-in, come on, we love to see it. Um, yeah, feel free to subscribe, I post, I'm posting a video here every day in the run-up to Christmas and I also post quite frequently outside of those times, so I would love it if you would stick around. I'm on a mission to get to 100,000 subscribers, there is no end date, that is just a goal that I have. Um, yeah. I set an end date and then I didn't reach it so then I was disappointed so no end date it's just going to be it's just going to be an ongoing moving goal so if you liked this world that would be nice and give this video a thumbs up it really really helps me out if you enjoyed it if you hated it you can give it a thumbs down it also helps me out you know anyway right I'm going to go film the next part of this video that will be out next Tuesday and I will see you very soon in tomorrow's video bye